In this section, we're going to set up a server with Express.js and Node.js to serve our application. We're also going to prepare the Angular app for production. And then finally, we're going to deploy it to Amazon Web Services. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create a quick server using Express.js on top of Node.js to act as a host for our web application. So first, you'll want to head over to Express.js.com. Express.js is a web application framework that's used with Node.js. And then you want to just copy this command into your terminal window so you can install it. Make sure you run this in the root directory of the application. Now, while that's running, I'm going to go back over to Getting Started and then click Hello World. And they have a sample that you can just copy. And this is basically all we'll need to start our own server. Go ahead and create a file in the root directory called app.js and then paste that snippet in there. So this is basically a very simple Express.js app on top of Node.js and it's basically going to return this string of hello world. So let's go ahead and start it. Go over to your terminal window and run the command node app.js and then you should see that console log. Then if you access localhost at port 3000, you should see the string being returned. And so what this does is it takes in an HTTP GET request and returns this Hello World string. One thing I'm going to show you is that if you go to another path, you get this cannot get slash David. That's because we've only defined one route. Now one thing you can do is replace this with an asterisk and then restart the server. And so now any route you go to will return that string. Now going back over to the Express.js website, you want to go to API reference and then go to the latest reference. And then you want to click response and then go down to the res.send file. And then scrolling down, they have a quick example here that we can use. And so I'll just paste this underneath this route right here. In the root directory, I'm going to create a folder called dist and then another folder called angular app which should match the name of the app folder, the root directory folder. Then I'll create a file called index.html, which is going to be the main file that we're going to send. And so now I'll be sending this file to the server instead of the hello world string. So back over here, you want to get rid of all these options. We only care about the root. And so since we're using this path, let's go ahead and import that at require path. I'll also provide the process environment port. And so that basically allows whatever environment that you're uploading your app to, to decide what port that it wants to run on. And so then I'm going to remove these options from here and paste them in my method. And then all I need now is to return res.send file, pass in the name of the file, which is index.html, and then the options. And so now I can get rid of all this. We'll also want to change public to dist slash angular app. And so that should match this exact path of where this index file is located. So then let's go ahead and stop the server, start it again. And now you should see the index file being returned instead of the original string. Now I'm going to open up my console because I'm going to show you something. Going back to my Angular app folder, I'm going to create a quick JavaScript file here that just alerts a message. And then I'm going to import that script file into my index file. So I'll just add my script tag and then pass in the source as that script.js file. So you'll see now that if I refresh this, it doesn't access that method and we can't load in the JavaScript. So going back over to the Express documentation, Click on the express methods and then go over to the express.static method. Then you can scroll down and copy this example here. So then go ahead and paste this middleware before the app.get method and then change this folder to the same folder. And so that'll make sure that our folder is now accessible to the public. So if I stop my server, start it again, and then refresh the browser page, you'll see now that the JavaScript is working.